back everyone. Today we are going to talk about camps and camp commands. Real quick video here. To start, we're going to travel, just to pick one to travel to, we'll go here. And then that's the first command here, travel to. It shows you how long it's going to take. Now you'll never get attacked during these fast travels. That's essentially what it is, is a fast travel. Alright, so we've arrived here. So to use the attack function, you pick a camp, you choose attack, and then you have in that radius of that camp, now this is a bigger radius if you are standing in the camp, so remember that. Then you pick where you want them to go, you choose it, you click attack on the map, you send however many warriors you want, you outfit them with weapons or arrows. If you want to send them with a certain amount of ammo or arrows, you press alt when you're clicking give to warriors. And then you have the option to pick from here, or you can type in your number. I'll send 12. Confirm. It splits your stacks and lets you more easily not overload them and then have to click individually. That's very important to remember. You click send. Now, remember that when you send somebody to attack, the option to cancel here, as well as when you send them on gathering, you can click cancel and they will come right back. The next one is going to be gathering. You can also send as many as you want. You choose the option that you want them to collect, and then you just hit send. And then they will come back once you once they run out of arrows. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is settling a new camp. You have to make sure that you settle from a camp that has enough warriors, so two is the minimum, because one has to stay behind. You click settle and then it will show up where you can settle with these little teepees. Now I have another video that I will link below that I've made that goes into more detail how to maximize the distance that you can put between camps. Uh, remember that you're the radius that you have from your player will also help increase this and I will again link that below so you can check that out. So anyway you click, you send however many warriors you want, you equip them, you give them rope and their wood, and then you send them out. The next command we'll talk about is sending a patrol between camps and they will follow the road as best they can from point A to point B. So you click patrol, again send as many as you want and you can decide where they're gonna go to and what they're gonna go from. So at patrol points they're gonna start here, they're gonna go there, go to my next one, and then they're gonna come back home. And I should send them with more arrows, but I'll send them with all that I have. Hit send, and they're off. So another option that we have is to send your warriors to another camp. So you pick one that has more than one warrior, and you can choose however many. Again, remember to equip them so they don't get killed. Send, and then they are on their way. Next we're going to use the put items option. Now remember that you can put items into any camp that you're in, but this is the only way you can put them into other camps. As long as you're in a camp or you're near a fire, then you can put them into any camp from your inventory. And remember you can press alt and select however many you want to put into that camp, or you can just press shift and put them all, or press one at a time and put them into that camp one at a time. A similar option is available when you press Alt and you want to take items from any camp as long as you're in a camp you can choose however many you want to take. The next command is going to be the upgrade command. Now if you don't have the items there and you don't want to travel there to put them into the camp again you can remember to put them from your inventory and we'll just put all the required items into that camp from afar. And then the upgrade option and it just upgrades to the next level which will generally upgrade the capacity of the camp by five each time and then that camp if we refresh our map capacity went from 15 to 20 and then the last option is going to be disband a camp now remember that if you have a camp that has too many warriors for the capacity the next morning the extra ones will leave if you don't have four meat per warrior extra in that camp inventory. I only use this for camps that have really no point, nobody in them, or they're too close to another camp like these two. So we'll choose disband, and all the warriors will go to the nearest camp, and we won't be able to pick up what is lost. So before I send them, I'm going to take all my weapons back, and then disband again. And then they will head back to the closest camp. 
And that's all there is to the camp commands. And as usual, thanks for stopping by.